Hello and welcome back to Math and Tea, the show where we talk math and drink tea. I'm your host, Professor Joseph Van Hyde, and it's time for another book review. This time, Power in Numbers, The Rebel Women of Mathematics by Dr. Talithia Williams. I picked up this book from the joint meetings earlier this year. The Association for Women in Mathematics were selling it and uh, advertising it as a kind of coffee table book. Not the sort of book that you'd pick up and read all the way through, but the kind where you'd find a nice chapter, sit down, and read the chapter in five minutes. Each chapter profiles a different woman of mathematics, and what I think really sets this book apart is the scope of time it covers. It doesn't just cover historical figures, although some of the women in here date back to antiquity, and it doesn't just cover the modern era, even though several of the people profiled here are still alive and doing good work. Those of you who watched or read Hidden Figures will recognize a couple characters in here. I also liked how the book gave us both a little bit of biography and a little bit of math, although this does lead into my two small complaints with the book. It does give us what feels like a good amount of biography, but I kept wanting just a little bit more of the math. What can I say? Also, some of the biographies started to feel a little samey towards the end, but, I mean, I was reading it straight through instead of as a coffee table book, so that probably has something to do with it. I think some of my favorite profiles came early on in the book, including the astronomer, Wang Zhengyi, as well as the famous algebraist, Emmy Nerta. All in all, I had fun with this book. I think it's a good book for teachers. I'm tempted to have this in my office in a very conspicuous place, and let students browse through it during office hours. But uh, that's all for now, because uh, I'm out of tea again. Until next time, bye!